Our solar system is a vast and mysterious place, a cosmic neighborhood filled with wonders and enigmas that have fascinated humanity for centuries. We have explored the planets, moons, and asteroids that lie within its boundaries. From the rocky terrains of Mars to the icy moons of Jupiter, our robotic explorers have sent back invaluable data. But what lies beyond these familiar celestial bodies? What awaits us at the edge of our cosmic neighborhood? The boundary where our sun's influence fades and the vast unknown begins. The answers to these questions are shrouded in mystery, yet they beckon us to explore and unravel the secrets of the universe. The allure of the unknown has always driven human curiosity and innovation. For centuries, humans have gazed at the stars and wondered about our place in the cosmos. Ancient civilizations built observatories and created myths to explain the celestial phenomena they observed. In modern times, we have sent probes and telescopes to study distant galaxies and nebulae. These instruments have expanded our understanding of the universe, revealing its vastness and complexity. But it is the edge of our solar system, the boundary where our sun's influence wanes and interstellar space begins, that holds a special allure. This frontier is not just a physical boundary, but a symbolic one, representing the limits of our current exploration. This region, known as the Heliopause, marks the final frontier of our cosmic backyard. It is where the solar wind, a stream of charged particles from the sun, meets the interstellar medium. Beyond the Heliopause lies a realm of unknown wonders and challenges. It is a place where the familiar rules of our solar system no longer apply, and new phenomena await discovery. It is a region where the solar wind, a constant stream of charged particles emanating from the sun, collides with the interstellar medium, the diffuse material that fills the space between stars. This interaction creates a complex and dynamic environment. This collision creates a turbulent and dynamic boundary layer, shaping the very nature of our solar system's interaction with the cosmos. The heliopause is not a static barrier, but a constantly shifting and evolving frontier. Join me as we embark on a journey to the edge of our solar system and beyond. Together, we will explore the heliopause, delve into the mysteries it holds, and contemplate the profound implications of venturing into the vast expanse of interstellar space. We will examine the scientific discoveries made by missions like Voyager 1 and 2, which have crossed this boundary and entered interstellar space. Their findings have provided us with a glimpse into the unknown and have paved the way for future explorations. As we journey through this final frontier, we will also consider the technological and philosophical challenges of interstellar travel. What does it mean for humanity to venture beyond our solar system? How will we navigate the vast distances and unknown dangers of interstellar space? The quest to explore the final frontier is not just a scientific endeavor, but a testament to the enduring human spirit. It is a journey that will push the boundaries of our knowledge and capabilities and inspire future generations to reach for the stars. So, let us set our sights on the horizon and embark on this grand adventure together. The final frontier awaits, and with it, the promise of new discoveries and endless possibilities. To understand the significance of the heliopause, we must first understand the concept of the heliosphere. The heliosphere is a vast region around our solar system, dominated by the solar wind, which is a stream of charged particles released from the upper atmosphere of the sun, known as the corona. Imagine the sun as a giant cosmic lighthouse, casting its light and energy out into the vastness of space. This light and energy are not just limited to visible light, but include a wide range of electromagnetic radiation and particles. Now picture this light not as a beam, but as a continuous wind, a stream of charged particles known as the solar wind. This solar wind travels at incredible speeds, reaching up to 750 kilometers per second, and carries with it the magnetic field of the sun. This solar wind, traveling at supersonic speeds, inflates a giant bubble around our solar system, much like a protective shield. This shield is not static, it is constantly being shaped and reshaped by the solar wind and the interstellar medium. This bubble is the heliosphere. It extends far beyond the orbit of Pluto, encompassing all the planets and dwarf planets in our solar system. The heliosphere acts as a buffer, shielding us from the harsh realities of interstellar space. It deflects a significant portion of the harmful cosmic rays and interstellar dust that would otherwise bombard our planet, protecting the delicate balance of life on Earth. It deflects a significant portion of the harmful cosmic rays 
and interstellar dust that would otherwise bombard our planet. These cosmic rays are high-energy particles that originate from outside our solar system and can be detrimental to living organisms. Without this protective bubble, life on Earth as we know it might not exist. The heliosphere helps to maintain the conditions necessary for life by reducing the amount of harmful radiation that reaches our planet. The heliopause, then, is the boundary of this protective bubble, the point where the solar wind's outward pressure is finally overcome by the inward pressure of the interstellar medium. This boundary is not fixed, it fluctuates with the solar activity cycle, expanding and contracting over time. It's a cosmic battleground where these two forces clash, creating a turbulent and dynamic region. The interactions at the heliopause can lead to the formation of shock waves and other complex phenomena that are of great interest to scientists. Understanding this region is crucial to understanding not just our own solar system but also the dynamics of star systems throughout the universe. By studying the heliopause we can gain insights into the processes that govern the behavior of other star systems and the interstellar medium. In our quest to understand the heliopause, we have sent two intrepid explorers, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. Launched in 1977, these twin spacecraft were initially tasked with studying the outer planets of our solar system, but their mission didn't end there. Carrying with them the hopes and dreams of humanity, the Voyagers continued their journey outward, pushing past the orbits of the giant planets, venturing into the unknown depths of space. They have become our eyes and ears in this uncharted territory, sending back invaluable data that has revolutionized our understanding of the heliopause and beyond. Equipped with an array of scientific instruments, the Voyagers measure the properties of the solar wind, the interstellar medium, and the magnetic fields that permeate this region. They have provided us with the first in-situ measurements of the heliopause, confirming its existence and giving us unprecedented insights into its nature. The Voyager missions represent the very best of humanity, our insatiable curiosity, our thirst for knowledge, and our indomitable spirit of exploration. They are a testament to our ability to reach beyond the confines of our planet and explore the cosmos. As the Voyagers ventured further into the uncharted territory beyond the planets, they embarked on a journey that would take them to the very edge of our solar system and beyond. These twin spacecraft, launched in 1977, have been traveling for over four decades, sending back invaluable data from the far reaches of space. As they cross the boundary of the heliosphere, the bubble of solar wind surrounding our solar system, they began to send back data that surprised and intrigued scientists. This data provided a glimpse into the unknown, revealing phenomena that had never been observed before. One of the most unexpected findings was the detection of a region of unexpectedly high temperatures just beyond the heliopause. This boundary where the solar wind meets the interstellar medium was thought to be a relatively calm area. However, the voyagers discovered that it was anything but calm. This region, dubbed the heliosheath, is thought to be heated by the shock waves created as the solar wind slams into the interstellar medium. These shock waves generate a significant amount of heat, creating a turbulent and dynamic environment. It's a bit like the sonic boom created by a supersonic jet, but on a cosmic scale. The energy released in these interactions is immense, and it has a profound impact on the surrounding space. This discovery challenged previous models of the heliopause and provided new insights into the complex interactions taking place at this boundary. Scientists had to rethink their understanding of how the solar wind and interstellar medium interact, leading to new theories and models. But perhaps the most tantalizing discovery was the detection of a strange low-frequency hum emanating from the heliopause. This hum, a persistent and mysterious signal, captured the imagination of scientists and space enthusiasts alike. This hum, detected by Voyager 1's plasma wave instrument, is thought to be the sound of interstellar gas vibrating as it interacts with the heliopause. The vibrations create a unique and eerie sound, a cosmic whisper that hints at the dynamic processes occurring in this region. It's a subtle but persistent signal, a cosmic whisper that speaks to the dynamic and turbulent nature of this region. The hum provides valuable information about the density and composition of the interstellar medium, offering clues about the environment beyond our solar system. These unexpected discoveries highlight the importance of exploration. The Voyager missions have shown us that there is still so much to learn about our universe. 
and that the most exciting discoveries often come from the most unexpected places. By venturing into the unknown, we push the boundaries of our knowledge and uncover mysteries that we never even knew existed. The Voyager's journey continues to inspire and remind us of the endless possibilities that await us in the vast expanse of space. The heliopause is not a static boundary. It's a dynamic and ever-changing region, constantly buffeted by the solar wind and the interstellar medium. The sun's activity, which ebbs and flows in an 11-year cycle, plays a significant role in shaping the heliosphere's size and shape. During periods of high solar activity, when the sun is unleashing powerful solar flares and coronal mass ejections, the heliosphere expands outward, pushing the heliopause further into interstellar space. Conversely, during periods of low solar activity, the heliosphere contracts and the heliopause moves inward. This dynamic nature of the heliosphere has implications for our understanding of the solar system's interaction with the interstellar medium. It affects the amount of cosmic rays and interstellar dust that penetrate the heliopause, potentially influencing the radiation environment within the solar system. Understanding the heliosphere's dynamics is crucial for predicting space weather, which can impact satellites, communication systems, and even power grids on Earth. It also helps us understand the evolution of other star systems and the conditions that might be necessary for life to arise on other planets.